Good afternoon, classmates, and especially to our professor, attorney, Margaret Tabunda. I would like to present to you my topic, the right to legation. This video clip will give you a brief background of the topic. Councilman Farrell, you found yourself needed for once. My king and queen, I was just entertaining your guests. I'm sure. Before you speak, Roger, know that in Sparta, everyone, even a king's messenger, is held accountable for the words of his voice. Now, the message to you. Earth and water. You will fold the way from Persia to Earth and water. Do not be coy or stupid, Persian. You can afford neither in Sparta. What makes this woman think she can speak among men? Because only Spartan women give birth to real men. Let us walk through all our times. If you value your lives over your complete annihilation, listen carefully, Midas. Xerxes conquers and controls everything he rests his eyes upon. He leads an army so massive it shakes the ground with its march, so vast it drinks the rivers dry. All the God King Xerxes requires is this, a simple offering of earth and water, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Well, that's a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it the Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and uh, boy lovers found that kind of nerve, then... We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Madman. For a madman. Earth and water. But you'll find plenty of both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! This clip will tell you the definition of legation, the sending of a legate to a diplomatic mission in a foreign country headed by a minister, now ambassador. In this case, an improper handling of diplomatic relation can spark into 
a conflict between countries or can lead into a war between states. The Philippines sent five diplomatic missions to China's territory. The Philippines welcomed 58 foreign ambassadors, 64 consular offices from foreign countries. We are sending diplomatic missions to 68 embassies and 125 consulate offices all over the world. In case of war, a state may send off conflicting diplomats back to their home country. Is legation then a right of the state? The answer is yes, but not absolute. A state may refuse to receive ambassadors from high-risk nations. In the case of Miniature versus Court of Appeals, Miniature was an Iranian national who studied in the University of the Philippines in 1975. On May 1986, he was arrested. After two years, the case was dismissed. Seven months later, he filed an action for damages, claiming that it was a trump of charge. His arrest was televised and well publicized all over the world. He was named as an international drug trafficker. Who was responsible for Miniature's arrest? Agent Scalzo, the private respondent, together with six armed American agents and accompanied by more than 30 armed Filipino soldiers, arrested Miniature in his home for violation of Dangerous Drugs Act of 1972. Scalzo alleged that he was buying prohibited heroin from Miniature. Miniature contended that he was only selling caviar and carpets to Agent Scalzo. The issue in this case is whether or not the American is a diplomat, whether or not the American acted in his official capacity. Prior to the finality of this case, it went back to and fro between the Supreme Court and the lower court at least three times. While the civil case was pending in RTC, Scalzo's motion for an extension of time was denied by the court, the CA, and the Supreme Court in GR number 91173. Scalzo failed to show that the appellate court is in error of the question judgment. The dismissal of the petition does not hold the proceeding in the RTC. During trial, Scalzo moved for the dismissal of the complaint on the ground that he was immune from suit. RTC denied the motion based on a self-serving diplomatic note. Scalzo filed for certiorari versus RTC Judge Paolo for dismissal of the civil case. The court was referred to the Court of Appeals, sustaining the diplomatic immunity of Scalzo, dismissing the civil case. Aggrieved, Miniature petitioned the Supreme Court for review in JR number 97765. Justice Davide reversed the decision of the CA, remanded the case to the RTC on the issue of authenticity of diplomatic note 414 and for sufficient allegation that Scalzo committed the imputed acts in his personal capacity and outside the scope of his official duty. In JR number 142396, RTC decided in favor to miniatures. Scalzo filed for certiorari in the CA and reversed the RTC, upholding state immunity. Miniature petitioned for certiorari in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court upholded the decision of the Court of Appeals. This time, Scalzo won the case. What was the Ruling, Scalzo was entitled to the defense of state immunity from suit, being an agent of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, allowed by the Philippine government to conduct activities in the country to help contain the problem of drug trafficking. Scalzo presented Exhibit 9 to 13, consisting of his reports of investigation and surveillance and subsequent arrests of miniature. Specifically, in Exhibit 12, Scalzo described the functions of USDA Overseas Office. The, the job description of Scalzo can hardly be said to have acted beyond the scope of his official function or duties.